Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic Hypersonic. I'm Barry P. Cook, and I'm here to talk to you about the latest episode of Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. It was called Le Gentiliste des Etrangers, which in French means the kindness of strangers. It's two weeks after the events of last season, and Laurent is training with Daryl in some zombie killing techniques before a meeting of the community that Daryl, Laurent, and sister Izzy are now part of about their former camp and it having been raided since they left, resulting in prisoners being taken. Losang asks Daryl to stop training Laurent because it amounts to too frequent exposure to violence, whereas Laurent is meant for better things and since the community is pacifistic. Daryl talks with Izzy about it and also says he wonders if his friends think of him anymore. Meanwhile, back in the U.S., Carol confronts the community of men that Daryl had contact with before getting shanghai onto the boat to France and learns of his having been taken. She takes one of their cars after her motorcycle tire gets punctured by an errant crossbow bolt when she's unsuccessfully attacked by one of the men, and she continues following Daryl's trail until she crashes the car while taking her eye off the road to look at a plane passing overhead and ends up on the property of a survivor whom she plays crash victim to, managing to secure herself a place to stay for the night in the form of an old barn, the sight of which gives her a flashback to her daughter's death, after which she discovers that the survivor is the plane's owner. In the morning, she asks him to help her with the car, and he agrees, but then takes off in his plane looking for car parts from the air. While he's gone, Carol investigates the buildings on his property, including a once-locked greenhouse, while a once-locked perimeter gate opens when a generator glitches, letting walkers onto the property. They somehow manage to corner Carol in the greenhouse, when she suddenly decides to be completely incapable of escaping a simple greenhouse with glass walls until she's able to climb up some shelving to the glass ceiling and break out that way as the man returns and asks her what the hell she did. It turns out that he had a son who died at seven after wandering off and getting got and that he flies the plane around because his son loved planes and because being in the air allows him to pretend that the world is normal. Carol goes to dinner at the man's residence and talks about her husband and Sophia, but lies about what happened to Sophia, saying she went to France with her dad and that they lost touch when the world ended, causing the man to realize she didn't want help with her car, but a flight to France, which, according to my research, assuming they're on the east coast of the United States, since most of the original show took place in Georgia, would take the entire fuel capacity of the tank of a plane similar to the one in the show, meaning that Not only would they have to find a way to fill the tank with about 65 gallons of fuel, but then the man would be stuck in France unless he could refuel the plane again. So I was a little dubious about how this was going to happen. But anyway, back in France, Daryl goes on a mission to rescue the kidnapped community people. Carol's lie having worked, the man agrees to fly to France, and apparently he has the fuel for it, having made it himself over the course of time in the form of ethanol. And it would seem that he doesn't plan on returning to the U.S. anyway. In France, Lesang and a lady talk about some type of upcoming ceremony involving Laurent. Back in the U.S., the man's generators go out when some type of spark goes off from his transformer. And not only does it destroy the barn full of fuel, but it unlocks the gate and then lets walkers in again, causing them to have to abruptly take off. So it isn't clear how much fuel they have. Daryl and company ambush the caravan transporting the kidnapped people and are able to rescue them before Daryl gets the chance to kill the leader of the group from last season that had kidnapped the people, but isn't able to because an explosion goes off, allowing her to get away while he's distracted. And that's where the episode ended. So I thought that this was a little bit lackluster as a season opener for season two. But, you know, I think at the same time, it did set up some interesting story points that are going to come to fruition Pretty quickly, for example, the situation with the plane, how much fuel did they get? Are they going to have to land sooner than they expect? And did they essentially just take off to get away from the walkers with no plan of how to get where they're actually going? We're going to have to find out, I guess. And, you know, when is the guy going to discover Carol's lie? Assuming he will. And, you know, he's gonna. And what's going to happen when he does? And, you know, what exactly are the group's plans for Laurent, like what is going on with that? The last season, they set him up to be some kind of messiah. And we haven't really seen much about that 
So it remains to be seen. And, you know, I'm interested. But like I said, I think it was kind of lackluster. And also, since when is Carol so easily cornered by walkers? I thought that was a little bit bullshit. You know, she's in the greenhouse and they start coming in, some of them breaking through the glass. And she kind of like she pushes a couple of them, but she kind of like panics and winds up trying to enclose herself in some rolling shelving. And it's not really working until she climbs out and breaks through the glass roof. But like, why didn't she like make her way to the first glass side of the building and just break out the way the, you know, walkers broke in? It was a little weird. And she had a panicked look on her face that normally she wouldn't, she, you know, she's this confident walker killer. And it was just a weird scene. It, 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 it put her in a weird, you know, light that we don't normally see her in. And I just, I wasn't buying it. And, and I don't know why they made that choice. And, you know, I also think there was a little too much Carol in this episode, especially being the season premiere. Now I know it's called the book of Carol and that's fine. But like the interesting part of the show was what was going on in France last season. And so I think it it's, you know, going to be better if they focus more on that this season, but obviously there's going to be some focus on Carol, which is fine. I love Carol and everything, but you know, they're only going to do like eight episodes and they're going to probably keep them apart for six of them. You know, she's probably not going to get to them until episode six. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Carol. And so far, it seems like not so much Daryl. And the show is called Daryl Dixon. So I don't know. I, I, I hope that changes in episode two. I think maybe they had to start off, you know, positioning Carol to try to get to France. And that maybe there won't be so much of her in the second episode, even though it's still going to have her in it because it's the book of Carol this season. I don't know. Anyway, a little more Daryl. Let's balance it out with a little more Daryl, a little more France. Anyway, that's really all I have to say. I'm looking forward to next week's episode. I'll be back to do a breakdown and review of that as well. I'm going to get out of here for now. Until I return, I wish you peace and long life.